late. Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, otherwise known as your grandma's friendly neighborhood IT guy who also happens to be a basement dweller. But don't worry, man. I am from the internet and I love checking out crazy types of tech. Now, I have to admit, I have no idea what's on the inside of this thing. Um, but I'm going to have a look. I'm going to crack her open. We're going to see what's on the inside. But first, before I get anywhere, I just want to mention um technology it's getting crazy powerful things are getting faster and faster and uh, eventually we're gonna have to worry about the times machines take over skynet will take over and rule us all but until then friends we got to appreciate technology while we have it here all the things that we have this is something that blew me away when i first seen it the pocket fetal doppler i see it and it's like i have no idea what this thing is but i have to get it just because it is so freaking cool looking i was wondering hey is this supposed to be a microphone or something i should have known as soon as i Read it. I should have looked it up online, but I got it at the secondhand store for a dollar. I can't believe this, man. I can't believe this. So if you don't know, this is something you can use to listen to the baby's heartbeat. Now you can put about any kind of gel on this. Uh, you definitely need gel if you want this stuff to work. Oh, this is my rainbow Cthulhu. Check it out. My wife made this for me. I don't care how cool you are. If you don't have a rainbow Cthulhu, then uh, I'm cooler than you. This thing rocks. Anyways, you can use almost anything on this stuff. You can use Vaseline. You can use aloe. I've used uh, standard uh, hand and cream and it works okay i got it right on my heart right now so i absolutely cannot believe this kind of technology we're at the situation where i can find this kind of type of technology for a dollar at a second hand store normally goes for about 70 dollars and i'm just blown away by the fact that we're at a situation where i can get something like this for 70 bucks new or for uh, just a dollar at a second hand store now normally something like this seems so interesting so important why didn't i why didn't i know about this when i had my two kids why didn't i know about this stuff it just freaking and blows me away that we have this kind of technology but anyways anyways this thing has been acting a little bit sketchy normally i would kind of return this or just redonate it so maybe that uh somebody else who actually needed something like this uh could use it but th this thing has been acting a little bit sketchy so i just want to tear it down and see what's on the inside sucker runs off double a batteries i can't wrap my head around this what a time to be alive Hopefully by backwards engineering this thing, I can uh, get the cure to the COVID going around because my two children have just been infected by it. And I'm pretty sure more people are going to be infected by it because everyone involved is a little bit ignorant. All right, it must be your bedtime because now it's COVID story time. My kids got it because people weren't being careful. My kids have probably given it to somebody else because we weren't careful. Now, when I say we, I'm not exactly even talking about myself because I'm the basement dweller in this situation. I don't go out and I don't be public. Anyways, the people who are around my kids don't want to get checked and they don't want to quarantine. Uh, enough complaining. Let's take a look at what's on the inside of this. This is tight. This is tight. Everything is symmetrical. And I really like that. Jeez, I'm having a hard time seeing this thing. Let's turn on the floodlights. There we go. That helps out a bit. Seriously, though, I've been opening up stuff that I don't understand for a long time now, and things aren't normally this symmetrical. I like the buttons. I always like to see how they put buttons. I love the mounts. You can tell that that's professional. So uh, the terminations, I should say. So instead of things being soldered directly into the board... It mounts right in. I'm really happy to see this. The only thing I'd be happier to see if they left the schematic schematic of everything is that. I think that's Texas Instruments. I'm pretty sure that's Texas Instruments. This thing is pro. I'm impressed. Oh, that's cool. I just noticed that it's plugged in with USB micro. Neat. Well, that's pretty anticlimactic. Not a lot going on in the back except for a few giant capacitors and perhaps a cue for quality control. So I just pulled off the screen. Modular. Freaking beautiful. I am so happy to see that. So while I can't say what all of these things are, I can tell you that this thing is definitely put together really nicely. I'm seeing lots of Texas instrument on here. Usually when you see Texas Instrument on things, it means that they're built with some good quality. Not always, though. 
seriously, I am impressed with the way they put this thing together. It is actually designed so that you can open it up and close it without destroying it. Everything is put in by little terminations. That is so cool. I wish most of the things that I opened up uh, were like this. Probably have a higher rate of being able to put them back together. Hmm, no screws on this. Okay, so I managed to get the top off, and that's what that looks like. I gotta want to see what the instrument is up here. I am definitely not going to be able to discover what this device is on that side because it is super glued in there, and it looks like we got a bunch of caulking. We've got some hot snot on this side. Oh, okay, so all that is, all this is, is just the cables, and then it looks like we got some uh, shielding. This is just uh, shielding so that we don't get any interference that is a lot of oh, weight there's more to it than that and here we go that's exactly what was inside that one with the power of autofocus maybe we'll be able to see what's on that chip another texas instrument chip so this thing's definitely made really well really impressed with what i see everything is so symmetrical everything is just so professional i'm really pleased with this thing i'm really pleased with how well this thing was put together and even oh okay any of my longtime viewers will know that if you put a termination on the end of a speaker i will love your product regardless of what it is anyways that's it for me ladies and gentlemen that's what it looks like on the inside of one of these units so ladies and gentlemen thanks for sticking with me thanks for watching it's always appreciated this is what's going on today wish me and my kids luck and uh getting through this covid lockdown uh, have a good one, folks. Take care of each other, will you? Catch you later.